Right. Uh, hi, Catherine. It's not often you bowl anyone bowls for for four maidens at the start of an innings. Uh, what was going through your head when you were doing that? Um, funnily enough, we'd had a meeting either the day before. I can't even remember now. Um, about a target of ours, uh, which included maidens, <laughs> and being the competitive soul I am, um, I took that upon myself <laughs> to do it as as much as I possibly could. Um, sad that I didn't get. I mean, I could have had another over, but um, yeah, I didn't want to spoil it. <laughs> and how is the back? It looked like you're having a bit of trouble with it. Yeah, I mean, I'm. 36 now and I've played 475 games and um, <laughs> I haven't. Um, and I've got to look after myself. It's been a really, really long summer, like possibly the busiest summer of my whole career and I'm at the very end of it. So it's, you've got to be smart, um, you know, take precautions, but you know, it's, it's just about keeping me on the pitch uh, for as long as possible and doing the right thing. So it's only precautionary. Um, and luckily, I was able to come back on and finish up. To, to bowl those overs after hitting runs with the bat must have really capped off the performance. Yeah, it's quite hard, you know, to turn around in 30 minutes. You've got to gobble down as much food as possible in five minutes. Then you've got to change your kit and, you know, ice, ice things. And then you've got to go and warm up for 15 minutes. So you pretty much don't have time to breathe. So it's, it is really difficult. Um, being an all-rounder is not the most fun. Um, I absolutely love batting. I've always loved batting. And any opportunity I get, I try and take it. Um, but having to come on open the bowling as well is not always the most fun. But, um, <laughs> but you've got to do what you've got to do. It was a great partnership with Heather Knight. Um, just a word on her innings. Yeah, she's um, she's been struggling a little bit with the hamstrings, but... Heather being Heather, she um, she keeps fighting away, keeps battling. She's desperate to play every game for this team. Um, sometimes doesn't isn't you know think about herself and her longevity as much. She's more worried about missing games. But um, we're trying to look after her, help her make the right decisions, and um, we know when she does play for us, she's a match winner. Um, she's just very great at tempo and um, seeing games through to scores that are what we want or what we need to chase down um, and just having her on the pitch makes us a much better team so we want to keep her on it. And finally for me how important is it to start the series with a good victory? Oh really important um, I can mention countless series gone by one day international series that we lose the first game in and it's really really frustrating because obviously you want momentum and you want to start as you mean to go on. Um, and that's been a thing of ours, actually. It almost haunted us a bit. And so um, every time we manage to do this this way is a, a, a huge like lift for us, lift a good, a massive bonus. And, and it's great because we're getting to see um, young players come in and, and contribute too and um, put under pressure straight away and getting to find out what they're about too. It's great. Thank you, Catherine. Thanks, Sonia. Valkyrie Baines, please. Um, thanks, Catherine. Um, do you feel like it got a little bit tighter than you would have liked, especially given Heather's edict to be a bit more ruthless in the lead up to this match? And what were you telling yourself when you came back on and you had had that job to do still? Um, you're absolutely right. It, it definitely got closer, too close for comfort, but that's the quality of New Zealand. They they have brilliant batsmen who can chase down big totals and it, it didn't surprise me that it went down to the wire like it I think the wicket got better it came on a bit a bit quicker um but they'd built huge part of uh, really good partnerships two big partnerships in there um and it did put the willies up as a little bit hard to admit um but that's you know that's cricket and I'm glad that we can put on really good games cricket and so um, what sort of goes through your mind when you've got to come back and, and break one of those partnerships? Um, well, you can only do what you can do. I think what goes through my mind leading up to coming back on is assessing the situation, who's still in, what worked, what's been working so far, um, 
how the wicket's playing, has it changed? Um, and, and things like that. And how many runs do you have to play with? So, you know, it can get really quite nerve wracking and it's quite a big responsibility. Um, but you've just got to think of it logically and, and, and also communicate, I think. The more I communicate with Heather, the better, the better I do. So, um, yeah, it's, it's good to have those relationships. Just finally, I mean, it's got to be helpful having a wealth of experience behind you as well to come into those situations. Do you, do you call upon sort of things from the past or do you take confidence from knowing you've, you've done this before? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, being in these situations a lot before, I think obviously what helped us was the wickets. Um, them having one or two left obviously would have limited them in their shots a lot, um, which obviously kept the favour on our side all the time um, and knowing it's only one away obviously the World Cup final was a classic example of that never give up sort of thing so um, yeah 100% have to relay back on experience just to keep calm basically and, and make sure you do your job and don't let the, the situation of the game get the best of you Thanks so much Thanks, Valkyrie. We'll go to Jeremy and then we'll finish with Sadarshan and after Jeremy, please. Hi, Catherine. Hi. Congratulations on the win tonight. Um, just firstly about how important it is to be tested in games like this ahead of the winter and what the team's learning um, about itself going into such an important winter ahead. What lessons you've taken out of the summer so far? Yeah, um, I think the best learning probably for both teams today was being able to bat on slightly trickier surface. I think we're all, we're treated a lot to really, really flat surfaces. And um, I think this had, you know, enough in it for a good game. There's obviously 20 wickets taken today uh, for a reason. Um, so I think it's, it's brilliant to test people's metal and see if they can work themselves out of a hard situation with the bat and, and really, you know, build on that and, and capitalize um, with a big score. Um, and I think that's what both teams will take today. A lot too many people got 30s, 20s and, and didn't take that and, and go on. And there'll be some very disappointed people, but um, hopefully that's the learning and that's how we move on from here for the rest of the series. And a word, of, a word about Charlie Dean in terms of uh, making her international debut and how she handled the occasion. Yeah, Dino um, and, and Maya Boucher, like she took to T20 cricket like a duck to walk to water so that was you know that really pleasing and and Dino fully deserves her spot in the team today and I'm really proud of those two girls having put themselves out there getting stuck into playing against one of the best teams in the world um, and performing and not letting it phase them it's it's really good signs for the future. Well, I guess that uh, playing in the hundred in front of big crowds must have uh, helped towards that yeah, to be fair, that was a lot more nerve wracking. There was so many people there; it was so loud, and like the backing behind it felt so big. It just felt like, to be honest, I've actually not felt pressure quite like it. To be honest, yeah. Um, obviously, you haven't got all your England teammates to help support you, um, so it's it's a big responsibility in front of big crowds. And it, it, that was great, actually, great learning moving forward and into the World Cup. That's great. Thanks, Catherine. Good luck for Sunday. Thank you. Thanks, Jeremy. Just one from you, Sadarshan, and if that's all right, sorry, we're just tight for time. Sure. Uh, uh, hi, Catherine. Well batted. But what I would want to know is generally we've seen that the middle order does well for England. Like in this year also, we've seen so them do very well for, for England in ODIs. What was it for you walking out to bat today, knowing that you had to do the job that the middle order has been doing so far? Um, I wasn't phased, to be fair. Um, everybody has their name on a ball, um, but you can't think of it like that. You can't think, how are you going to get out? Or if I get out now, I'm, you know, we're, we're in the... What's the, the word? <laughs> Swear word. Um, you have to be more positive than that. And for me, it, Heather at the crease, that gave me a bit of confidence in itself. Um, obviously, my job with Yorkshire domestically as I've had countless times where I've had to go in when we're 30 for five. So it's not an unfamiliar place for me. I actually, I actually prefer situations like that, to be honest. It, it's almost easier than having to go at tens. 
in the back end of an innings. So, um, yeah, I, I, I love batting. And any time I'll get the opportunity, I'll do my best. Thank you. Well played. Thanks. Thanks very much. Thanks very much, everybody. Take care. Thank you, Henry. See ya.